Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a closer look at the definition of a proof. A proof is a series of statements made up of definitions, postulates, and theorems. Now remember, definitions and postulates do not need to be proven, but theorems do need to be proven. Each one known or shown to be correct. So we know them to be correct, when their definitions are postulates. We don't need to prove it. We know they're correct. We need to make the statement and explain why we can make the statement because of this definition or this postulate. Or we need to show that they're correct and of course that's when we get to theorems. Theorems need to be shown to be correct. Once we've shown a theorem to be correct then we can use that theorem to prove other things. When we put those statements together Together as a string, they can support a mathematical claim. And that's basically what we're doing. When we prove something, we come up with support for that mathematical claim. And once we do that, we've proven that. So let's, here's an example. Here's three statements. Statement one, when two lines meet, the adjacent angles they form are supplementary. And we know that to be true. Here's one line. There's another line. They meet. The two adjacent angles add up to 180 degrees, therefore we know they're supplementary. We don't need to prove that, we know that to be true. That's a postulate. Statement two, if one of the angles is a right angle, the adjacent angle must also be a right angle. If one of these is 90 degrees, and we know that they add up to 180 degrees, then of course the other one must be 90 degrees as well, that means they're both right angles. And then the third statement comes in and says, well, if the two lines meet and they form adjacent right angles, then those lines must be perpendicular, another postulate. So together, you can put those statements together and form a proof. The standard format of a proof is that we have a series of statements, and then for each statement we make, we tell you why we can make that statement. Which postulate is that? Which definition allows us to make that statement? And so if we have good reasons for making those statements together, we can then prove something. And that's how we prove things in geometry. We come up with statements, we can give you the reasons for those statements, and then together, as a group, they form a proof. Now, of course, the proof is in the pudding. You'll want to see lots of good examples and they're coming don't worry they're still coming but we want to make sure that we go to the basics and understand all the definitions of the various terms used in the process of proving things in geometry and that's what we're doing like this